thousands of folks get to see their work live and in person and well you get to see it on TV too. We're talking about the beautiful field at Tiger Stadium. John Eads spent the time with the grounds crew to see firsthand how they get the field ready for every game. Well, Tiger Stadium has for years been known as one of the most iconic venues in college football and LSU rarely, if ever, loses a football game inside that building behind me. And this is just the outside of it. I don't want you to think of it as a stadium for a second, though. Instead, think of it as the framing around a piece of artwork that is prepared for hours and hours before each and every home football Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's the best field in the country. Nobody else is going to tell me different. But earning the right to make such a claim entails a lot of hard work. Work that gets done during the hours that most fans don't see. Typically our prep work starts, you know, as soon as the last game's over. By the middle of the week, it becomes arts and crafts time. Typically we start on a Wednesday and we're, we're done to Friday afternoon. In all, it's about a 20 hour process to paint the Bermuda grass. Now, as for how much paint is needed, well, let's just say a lot. We roughly use about 300 gallons, you know, split between all three colors. Two of those colors are used to paint the yard markers and the design of the numbers actually changed recently. Last year when Coach Kelly came, we changed the number font. We actually own that font. It's formerly known as the Go font. And what about those five yard markers? The story I got was way back, I don't even know what year, the announcers liked having it so they could play by play a little easier. And the field crew painted every five for them and just kind of stuck ever since. We kind of hate every five, to be honest with you. But I mean, it's something different. After you really think about it, it's, it's pretty dope. But I mean, it's tiring. But all of that tiring and perhaps extra work is all worth it once Saturday rolls around. It's all fun for us. Um, you know, something the fans can see and enjoy and the players and knowing that we have a, a pretty big part in the game is, is something kind of special. When you see the players, when they come out and they're all happy and stuff to see things, that's when everything is like, all right, like, I'm doing this for a purpose, you know, like, it's, it's awesome, dude. All right, the final touches have been completed, and the field is all set and ready for some football. But before the turf gets ripped up, Sheldon, what would you rate this week's final product out of 10? Right now, I'll give you maybe a 9.5. Maybe a 9.5, because I kind of curved one of those lines, but I'm not going to tell you where it's at. Well, that artwork got vandalized on Saturday, but in a good way and not resulting in any crimes of any sort. LSU beats Arkansas 34-31. It keeps the golden boot right here in Baton Rouge. And the good thing for the grounds crew is that the Tigers are on the road for the next two weeks. First at Ole Miss, then at Missouri before returning to Tiger Stadium in three weeks to play Auburn. In Baton Rouge, I'm John Eads, WAFB 9 Sports. All right, John, they're going to have us out there looking for that line. Which one did they... Kind of mess up on. Very good. Thank you, John.